hi everyone and welcome in the previous video we have covered the getting started guide for luckfox lyra plus linux micro development board and we have covered that how you can flash build root operating system onto the nand storage of luckfox lyra plus board and how you can you know get the ssh access of your luckfox lyra board with the help of network setup okay now in this video we are going to cover again getting started guide for luckfox lyra plus board but instead of flashing build root operating system on the nand storage we are going to flash build root operating system on sd card and then after we will cover the entire setup that how you can get the ssh access how you can configure the ip address of your system and everything okay now there is one difference when you are going to flash build root operating system onto the NAND storage and when you are going to flash build root operating system onto the SD card. So while flashing the build root operating system onto the NAND storage, you have to use rkdev tool. But when you are going to flash operating system onto the SD card, it can be Ubuntu or it can be build root operating system, you have to use SD disk tool for that. So we are not going to use the rkdev tool in this video. We are going to use SD disk tool. And if you want to download, then you can download it from here. If you want to install the driver in your system, then you can download the driver assistant tool from here. If you want to download the build root operating system images, then this is the link for you. And for Ubuntu operating system, here is the product page and here is the wiki page. Okay, now here on the camera, you can see I have my Luckfox Lyra plus board. This is the memory card reader and here i have the 64 gb of memory card and here usb to usb c cable now what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug this sd card to my system and we will format this sd card and then we will flash this sd card with build root operating system okay i have plugged the sd card in my system i'm going to open the sd card formatter and here you can see we have the um, card available here now i'm going to click on the format to format this card okay we have successfully formatted the card now you have to open sd disk tool so embedded device and luckfox and software and here you can see sd disk tool and you can also download that sd disk tool from here this link okay now sd disk tool and uh, sd firmware tool.exe so this is the one which you have to open now once you open this okay you have to select your sd card now here i have 64 gb of sd card so i'm going to select this one now we want to boot our operating system from the sd card so we have to select this option sd boot and here we have to select the operating system file or you can say firmware file now i have already downloaded the firmware file so embedded device luckfox operating system luckfox lyra plus build root operating system and here you can see i have downloaded two build root operating system for luckfox lyra the first one is for NAND storage and the second one is for the micro SD card and I have extracted here okay in this folder and we have to select update.image file as a firmware so I can minimize this one I can click on firmware and luckfox lyra plus okay luckfox operating system luckfox lyra plus build root operating system and we are going to flash the operating system onto the sd card so i am going to select the micro sd image and here you can see update dot image file so this is the one which you have to choose okay then after you just have to press on create okay and then you have to press yes so that's it it is writing the operating system or you can say it is flashing the operating system onto the sd card you have to wait until this process is done and once the process is done you will have one pop-up okay so let's wait okay here you can see creating upgrade disk okay so we have successfully write the build root operating system on the sd card now you can press ok i can close this tool and i can remove the sd card from my system okay so i have removed the sd card now i can plug this sd card to my luckfox lyra board okay so let me plug it 
Okay, so we have successfully plugged the uh, SD card to the Luxfox Lyra Plus board. Now I'm going to connect this board with my system using this cable. Okay, here you can see LED is flashing. Okay, so means OS is getting booted now. Now, uh, in the meantime, I can uh, search for view network connection in my start menu. And once operating system of my Luxfox Lyra board will boot up, I will see one remote NDIS based internet sharing device in my network connection. And here you can see it is trying to identify, but that is fine. Now we have flashed the build root operating system, right? So what is the default IP address of USB interface for build root operating system? So that is available on our GitHub repository. And here you can see if the board is Luxfox Lyra, then the default IP address of USB-C interface is this one for build root operating system as well and for Ubuntu operating system as well. So I can try to ping this IP address from my system. Okay, so ping IP address and here you can see we are getting ping because I have previously modified the remote NDIS based internet sharing device properties. Now let me show you what properties I have modified. So you have to right click on this uh, remote NDIS based internet sharing device. You have to go to the properties. You have to click on this TCP IPv4 and here you have to provide the IP address. Now in which range you can provide the IP address. Okay, so I can provide the IP address in this range. So you can do the same in your system. Okay, so you have to open the view network connection. You have to open the properties of remote NDIS based internet sharing device. You have to open the properties of TCP IPv4 and you have to use this IP address. You can change the last three digit. Okay, that is fine, but you don't have to use 100 in last three digit. Then after you can press tab, your subnet mask will be automatically detected and then I can press OK. I can press yes and then OK. That's it. OK, now I can again try to ping my device and I'm able to ping it. So my system and the Luxfox Lyra board is in the network. Now I can access the SSH terminal of my Luxfox Lyra plus board. So for that, let me clear the screen. Now, what is the command to get the SSH access of this board? So that is available on our GitHub repository again. Now, if you have build root operating system, then this is the command. So you just have to copy this. Okay. You have to paste that in your terminal. You have to hit enter and you have to provide the default password, which is Luxfox. And that's it. Okay. We are successfully login to the root user of Luxfox Lyra plus board. Now, if you want to check the free memory, then free hyphen H. So this much of memory is available. Now, if you want to check the disk, so DF hyphen TH. Okay. So this is our entire SD card and from the SD card, 53.2 GB is available. Okay, the size is 55.7 GB and the rest of the size is used by the operating system. Okay, and uh, you can run UNAME hyphen A to check the CPU details as well as here I have provided one command to check more details for your CPU. Okay, so here you can see this board is having three cores. Okay, so this is the first core, this is the second and this is the third core. And here is the detail. So this is how you can uh, getting start with your Luxfox Lyra plus board after flashing the build root operating system on the SD card. Okay. So to flash the build root operating system on the SD card, you have to first download the build root operating system for your Luxfox Lyra plus board. Okay. And you have to download specifically build root operating system for your micro SD card image. Okay, if you have Luxfox Lyra, then you can go for this micro SD card image. And if you have Luxfox Lyra Plus, then you can go for this micro SD card image. Then after you have to download SD disk tool to flash the operating system on the SD card. Okay, and we have already covered that how you can do that. Then after you have to open network connection, you have to modify the properties of your remote NDIS based internet sharing device. And you have to use the IP address in this range. And then after you can, you know, try to ping 
your Luxbox Lyra Plus board with default IP address and root user and then after you can get the SSH access. After that, let us check that Python is installed or not. So Python, yes, Python is installed. Now let us check that we have the periphery library installed or not. So I'm going to copy this, paste it. And yeah, we have the periphery library installed so we can directly access our GPIO of Luxbox Lyra plus board, okay? So I hope this thing is clear and I hope the getting started guide for the Luxbox Lyra plus board with Buildroot operating system is clear. Now, if you have any question or any doubt or any idea, okay, then you can share it with me on Telegram, Instagram, WhatsApp, anywhere, also on the comment section, also over the email, also on LinkedIn. Now let's meet in the future videos and in the future videos, I am going to cover this topic. Okay, getting started with Luxbox Lyra Plus and we are going to flash the Ubuntu operating system on the SD card and again we are going to see the complete setup. So stay tuned for that video. Till then, take care, goodbye and thank you.